<coughs> dear uh, friends um, the honorable justice uh, sudhakar took charge as the president of uh, nclt principal bench delhi um, in november 21 and uh, justice sudhakar was a retired uh, chief justice of jammu and uh, jammu and kashmir high court and thereafter he was number 2 for elevation to honorable supreme court now the strength of honorable justice sudhakar is unanimous everybody will say that he is a very good administration is very good in administration and a reformative in nature path breaking reforms in administration he can bring it from that point of view his appointment as the president is much needed for nclt if you see the we all know it is 5 years since uh, this insolvency and bankruptcy code was enacted and the results of the performance is not very satisfactory if one goes by the parliamentary standing committee report and uh, the reasons why it is like this if you go through the supreme court honorable supreme court judgments it will become clear that the several uh, directions have been given where the honorable supreme court said that the nclt should not uh, cross the boundaries it should uh, adjudicate within the four corners of the court whether it is uh, arun kumar mishra arun kumar jagatram ka case where 230 uh, was adjudicated section 29a or in ebex or in series of judgments honorable supreme court feels that these uh, adjudicating authorities are involving themselves in uh, judicial innovation intervention which is uncalled for that is re- considered as one of the reasons for the failure of this court there were the different written paragraphs are there in this backdrop honorable justice uh, takes over and uh, it is 6 months since it took over before i take up the path breaking reforms of uh, is he making efforts towards rejuvenating and reforming this functioning of nclt i must info uh, tell you which you all know that i have been working on uh, bringing in structural reforms to make the performance of ibbi nclt and in return result is that code to match the ground realities i filed several pills which were allowed even the ministry of corporate affairs has uh, filed a counter saying that they are implementing their reforms even the parliamentary standing committee in their report many of the suggestions given by me were considered um, so therefore i am in the process of working towards strengthening the uh, this entire system code and i've been with the people who are doing research my team people are doing various analysis of judgments and all honorable uh, um uh, sudhakar sir if you see i'll first uh, give you example but one thing you will realize that he will be considered as uh, the most effective reformer in the days to come is my humble opinion in fact the way in which it should be adjudicated uh, is a live example of what is expected of uh, the by the parliament uh, to achieve the object of time bound resolution resolution and all i'll give you live examples of uh, how uh, is looking at the entire system the first thing the honorable judge um, i'll call sir because today even the orissa high court i was appearing they were saying that don't call us lordships please say sir that's enough so 
with due respect uh, we'll call um, honorable sudhakar sir first statement of intent he made a path breaking path breaking is that he said that the junior counsels young lawyers they must be given opportunity the junior counsels young lawyers must be given opportunity particularly after this two years particularly after these two years of covid impact many of them are struggling to survive and they are the backbones of this legal profession that is so what he said is he has uh, given instructions that's what he said to give first priority to young lawyers who are willing to come and argue the cases before him first give them priority the senior counsels let them wait in the queue this particular statement is not an ordinary effort if it is if he is able to percolate down percolate down to entire uh, nclts uh, across the state nation the result will be very very good the result will be very very good what happens i'll tell you the uh, with the experience that we have seen in chennai chennai the last 20 months friends the last 20 months the if you see the data till november till november after he took over there is a dramatic changes let's put it till october because the uh, record we see recordings and all of them are recorded one can see the young lawyers are li- really terrified to appear before the honorable adjudicating authority there was only one bench a judicial member the dominant uh, uh, person and uh, in the open court if it is a junior counsel he will be criticized like anything you hear the counsel ask question what is there in this court there is nothing that's what he explained beautifully i'll come to that he uh, sudhakar sir said in, in the recently that when you have come to me please all the lawyers must listen young lawyers when you come before me i don't like lectures i will ask you for every case i will ask you questions you please be prepared and give me a short synopsis give me a short synopsis i will pass the order you please see here one case he said also if it is extension of time if you are seeking extension of time there's a routine matter 182 to 270 days you just get the resolution passed by the coc for extension and then you may say that there is a scope for revival and then when the, what is that you are seeking 182 to 270 days automatic it will be given that's all his beauty is then and there the order is passed then and there no adjournments you come 1 2 3 give him over now 270 to 330 that also okay then extraordinary 330 you please exceptional circumstances there should be a convincing so that the company is going to revive order is passed <coughs> order is passed now i'll take another example this is a case for police protection the corporate debtor the workers are not cooperating and the case was filed in 2020 almost 2 years it has been pending and it has come for hearing almost 8 times every time the adjudicating authority will say why you come before us you got a police we are not criminal uh, lawyers go then she will criticize and then adjourn 10 minutes last 8 means 80 minutes is last but the case is not solved and if bole workers are hostile staff is not cooperating how can you take custody of the assets police are interested they say unless a order from nclt is there we will not take up then uh, then luckily this same petition came before um, justice sudhakar sir literally tell you on that day 
if you take 30 cases, 30 cases weight is decided that day. So this case came. Then he asked first, <coughs> when was the notice served? <coughs> Did they file any counter? Police, workers and all. They are represented by lawyers. Everything is fine. If he reads this case so fast, just like that he looked at it. All right. Order. Clear order. He said, how can a, a liquidator function when there is a distraction? How can he take over the assets? How can he keep the entity as a going concern? Therefore, I direct the police to give all provide all protection and the case is disposed of. That's all. You see friends, here, <clears throat> this is the real problem of IBC. The adjudicating authorities are listening, 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 you know, adjoining, not passing orders. And uh, whenever he sits in any bench, you can see that cases are disposed of. And many senior lawyers were telling, he has got such a fantastic knowledge, he can just like that come on to the subject and ask questions. You don't go there to give lectures. In another case what happened, the 32 petitions were there. There is only one petition <coughs> was taken up. It was argued by Delhi based lawyer. He charges 9 lakhs per hour. Only that case was taken. He was talking no senior counsel 45 minutes. More mistakes are there. When the other side person wanted to tell them, is the, this is not the case, this is not the factual position. The adjudicating authority said, don't appear before me, I will not entertain you junior counsels. I, this bench will listen only to senior counsels. You go and engage senior counsels. Orders result. Orders result. What happens, you know, you can do enquiry in Chennai. All senior counsels, they are charging huge fees. They will not bother about performance of the court, so long as they get money. The junior counsels are abused. The open court where video conference, everybody is watching. That's all, they lose the case. They are, their lives are ruined. Last 2-3 years, this has become a problem. How can, you know, see, they are the future of this uh, uh, legal profession. And uh, this involves crores of rupees. The adjudicating authority are exercising enormous sweeping powers. <clears throat> That's why the this. So first thing, see the beauty of the administrator's reforms. He looked at it. The first step is he looked at that and decided this is the problem. See, uh, what is the, the, the result will be like this. They see, the cost of accessing the justice will come down drastically when adjudicating authority is not willing to hear juniors and senior counsels are represented with huge fees telling lies and then the adjudicating authority is passing orders, violating the law, misrepresenting the facts. <coughs> Therefore, they, are set, they go to NCLAT and get stayed. Years are lost. So, exactly analyze this problem. And he sets example. He is not telling something. Okay, he sets example. And he is very friendly. He may ask questions and all that. But he is very kind. He will not harm. But he is strict. But he will very strict. <coughs> According to law. You don't waste time. Come prepared. You want to charge more fees. Then you come prepared. Show. And give synopsis. Success is yours. Certainty of law is very high. So, this is going to be the first uh, step towards success of this NCLT performance. 